Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send Asana task using API by Pabli. So here my objective is that whenever a new task is added in Asana, then automatically I want to send these task details to any other application by API by Pabli. So for example, a new task is added in Asana and I want to send this task details automatically on my Discord channel. So for connecting the Discord channel, I'm going to use API by Pabli and for that I have to build a connection between Asana and API by Pabli. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I'm going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Asana. In Action application, I'm going to use API by Pabli. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how to send Asana task using API by Pabli. So suppose I'm creating a lot of tasks in Asana for my team. And also I want to send these details of my task in other application, but I want to do that automatically. And for that, I don't know how to connect those two application. So here, what I'm going to do is that if I'm having API docs or API details of the other application, so by using API by Pabli in Pabli Connect, I can connect Asana with other application. So for example, whenever a new task is created in Asana, then automatically a message should be sent on my Discord channel with those details of task. So for this, I'm going to connect Asana with Discord by using API by Pabli. And here I have these API docs of my Discord application. So I'm going to use this API docs for connecting Discord with Asana. So for that, I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to send Asana task using API by Pabli. And I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select API by Pabli and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. So here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application will be Asana. So I'm going to select Asana here and now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new task in project will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and now I have to connect Asana with Pabli Connect. So for that, I have to click here on this connect button and I will click on add new connection and now I will click on connect with Asana and my connection here is successful as I have already logged into Asana in my browser. So it has detected that. Now I have to first select my project where I'm creating new task or adding new task. So for that, let me take you back to Asana. And in this, we are using this project of social media. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to map this project. So I will go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to open this tab. So in this, you will find all the projects that you have in your Asana account. So I'm going to use this project of social media. So I'm going to map this. And now I have to click on save and send test request button and here it is waiting for response. So how I'm going to get this response for that, I have to create a new task in my project in Asana. Now for creating a new task, I'll click here on this create button and I will click on task. And here first I have to give the name of my task. So I'm going to name it as meeting and my description will be, we are having a team meeting today. So this is going to be my description and I have to select my project. So I'm going to click here on this project button. And here I'm going to select this project of social media project and I have to give my priority. So I'm going to give a priority of high and my status will be on track. And now I'm going to add my due date. So I'm going to click here on this add due date button and my due date will be of 23rd of Feb. So I have selected my due date. Now I have added all the details of my new task that I want to create. Now I'm going to click on create task button 
And here I have created this new task, which is of meeting. So I'm going to show you this task. So this is my new task and this is my due date, which is for today. And my project is social media project. And for my task, I have set up my priority and status. And this is the description. We are having a team meeting today. So I have created this new task. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see we have received this new response. So in the response, we have this new task event. So we have created new task here and we have this project name, which is social media project. And this is the name of my task, which is meeting. And this is the description. We are having a team meeting today. So this is the description of my task. And I have this due date, which is 23rd Feb 2024. So I have received all the details of the task in my trigger response. Now what I need to do is I need to send these details of the task as a new message on discord. So I want to connect discord with Asana. So for connecting discord, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my actions tab and here for connecting discord, I'm going to use API by Pabli, which is a tool that Pabli offers. So I'm going to select API by Pabli here. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and execute API request will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect API by Pabli with Pabli connect. So I'll click here on connect. And now I need API docs for connecting discord with API. So for getting the API docs of discord, I'm going to find that in discord developer portal. So I'm going to open that in this portal. I will find my API docs for discord. And in this, I have to execute my web book. So by executing my web book, I have all these parameters. So by using API by Pabli, I can use all these parameters. So here for executing this web book, what I have to do is I have to use the method of post and I need my web book token for connecting my discord with API by Pabli. And for sending the message on discord, I'm going to use this parameter of content. So I have all these details here. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Pabli connect and here I have to first select my action event method. So I'm going to open this tab. And my method will be post because I want to send data. So I'm going to select this method of post. Now I need the API endpoint URL. So for finding this API endpoint URL, I have to go to my discord account. And in this, I'm using this channel of general. And so I'm going to click here on this edit channel button. And in this, I will go to integrations. I will open web books. And here I have this web book of captain hook. So I'm going to open this. And here I'm going to copy this web book URL. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to Pabli connect. And that webhook URL is going to be my API endpoint URL. So I'm going to paste that here. So I have filled my API endpoint URL. Now I have to select my payload type. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab, I want to send data in JSON format. So I'm going to select JSON here and my authentication will be of no auth. Now I have to set up my parameters. So I'm going to, so I'm going to select this option of set parameters. And in this I have label and value. So I will go back to my API docs of discord. And in the parameter, I have this field of content. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to public connect and in the label, I'm going to paste that. So my label is of content. So I'm going to send a message on discord by using this parameter in the value. I'm going to type my message that I want to send on discord. So for sending the message, what I need to do is I need to use the task details that I have added in Asana. So I want to use those details and I want to send that as a message on discord channel. So for that, I'm going to create a personalized message that I want to send on discord. So my message will be, so this is going to be my message. So in this, I have these details of task name, task description, task due date and project name. So I'm going to use all these details and I'm going to send these details as a message on discord channel. And I'm going to use the details that I've received from Asana in my trigger response. So I'm going to map all those details here. And I'm going to use mapping. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to open this response of Asana in this. I'm going to first map this new task event. So my message is always going to start with new tasks. Now I have to give my task name. So I'm going to again open this response of Asana and I'm going to search for my task name. So this is my task name, which is meeting. So I'm going to map that. Now I need a task description, but I want that in new line. So I'm going to give a code of new line, which is forward slash N. And now I'm going to map my task description. So for the task description, I'm going to open this response of Asana again. And in this, I'm going to search for my description. So this is my description, which is we are having a team meeting today. So this is going to be my description. So I'm going to map that. And now I need a task due date. So again, I want this in a new line. So I'm going to give the same code, which is forward slash N. And now I'm going to click ahead of this task due date and I will give a space. And now I need a due date. So I'm going to search for my due date. 
So this is my due date, which is 23rd of Feb 2024. So I'm going to map this and now I need a project name. So I'm going to open this response of Asana. And again, I'm going to search for my project name. So this is my project name. So I'm going to map this and here my message is completed. So my message is going to start with new task. And in my message, I'm going to have all the details of my task. So I will have my task name, task description, task due date and project name. So this is going to be the value that I want to send. So I have filled all my required details here. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test ticket button. And here I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have sent this data automatically on my discord channel. Now to check this, I'm going to open discord. Now I'm going to close this and here on my channel, we can see I have received this new message. So my message starts with new task and I have all these details of the task. So I have the task name, which is meeting task description. We are having a team meeting today and I have this task due date, which is 23rd of Feb 2024. And I have the project name, which is social media project. So these are the details of the task that I have created in Asana and I have used those details of the task and I have sent that data and the details automatically on my discord channel by using API by Pavli. Now to check this in real time, I will go back to Asana and I'm going to create a new task in this project. So I'm going to click again on create. I will click on task and I'm going to give a name to my task, which will be demo and I'm going to give a description. So I'm going to give a description of this is for demo purpose only. I'm going to select my project. So my project will be of social media project. And now I have to set up my priority. My priority will be low status will be on track. And now I'm going to add my due date. So I'm going to click here on this add due date button. And again, I'm going to give the due date of 23rd of Feb 2024. And I'm going to click on create task. So I have created this new task in Asana with the name of demo. Now here, what should happen is that automatically a message should be sent on my discord channel with these details of my task that I have created in Asana. Now to check this, I will go back to discord and here we can see that I have received this new message automatically on my discord channel. In this, I have this message which says new task and I have task name, which is demo task description is this is for demo purpose only. I have the task due date, which is 23rd of Feb 2024. And I have the project name, which is social media project. So here we can see that my connection between Asana and Discord is working successfully. And I have created this connection by using API by Pabli. So here, whenever I'm creating a new task in Asana, then automatically I'm sending those details of the task on my Discord channel by using API by Pabli. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here we have built this connection between Asana and Discord by using API by Pabli. So whenever a new task will be created in Asana, then automatically that task detail will be sent as a message on my discord channel. And that is going to happen by API by Pabli. So my connection between Asana and API by Pabli and discord is working successfully. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Asana and my trigger event was new task in project. Then I have set up my action step and in action step, I have used API by Pabli and I have used the action method as post. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.